Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to go over how I applied natural language processing to analyze wine reviews. So um, these days, if you head to any winery, there almost always is some sort of wine tasting going on. During these tastings, you see people making a really big deal of swirling the wine around, smelling the wine, um, and just making sure that everyone around them sees this. They then take a sip and then they come up with these outrageous words to describe the wine that they just tasted. And um, I'm usually just standing there in the corner judging them because um, I have an unrefined palate and I can't taste any of the things that they're talking about. I'll usually get mad and think to myself, um, you're just making this stuff up. You don't really know what you're talking about. So for this project, I want to know, do wine reviewers actually know what they're talking about? And um, what exactly do people talk about in wine reviews? And is there any truth to it? Um, so for this project, I looked at 85,000 wine, wine, wine reviews from the website, The Wine Enthusiast. Um, each review was about one to three sentences long. After collecting my data, I removed a variety of stop words like flavor, drink, wine, and well, and then used word, WordNet Lemmatizer on my text. Once my data was cleaned, I tried LSA, NMF, and LDA, but decided to choose LDA because the topics it returned made the most sense to me. Lastly, I used PI LDA Viz to help me visualize my data. To help me understand how many topics to choose, I looked at topic coherence. Given that there wasn't much of a rise in topic coherence after nine topics, I, I stuck with nine topics for my LDA model. This is how my nine topics looked in a two-dimensional setting. Um, to investigate the topics further, I looked at the top five documents that the LDA model classified as most heavily belonging to the specific topic, and I found some pretty interesting things. I'm going to present the characteristics of four topics, one from each quadrant of this graph. Let's start in the bottom right corner and look at topic seven's characteristics. The top five documents for this topic were all reviews by Karen O'Keefe, an editor for The Wine Enthusiast, about red wines from Italy. In these reviews, she talks a lot about the flavor of the wine using a variety of adjectives, such as classically crafted, vanilla savory, and soulful red earthy aromas to describe the wine. Now let's move to the top right quadrant, topic six. The five documents for this topic were all reviews by Roger Voss, a wine and food journalist. Four of the five reviews were about red wines, with most coming from France. You can see his approach to describing wines is a little bit different from Karen's. Instead of talking about the actual flavors of the wine, he focuses more on the background of the wine. Some keywords in his reviews mention the family of the winery, the meanings behind the names of the wine, and the year that this wine was from. Now, let's move to the upper left quadrant, topic five. The top five documents in topic five contain reviews also from Roger Voss, this time about white wines from France. Despite the color of the wine changing, Roger continues to provide context on the wine, talking about the area the wine was produced and the producer of the wine. Finally, let's move on to the lower left quadrant, topic nine. Guess who's back? Our favorite wine enthusiast, Karen O'Keefe, reviewing white wines from Italy, using her usual descriptive reviews to describe the tangible qualities of the wine, such as scent, flavor, and texture. After looking at the top five documents for each topic, rather than just the keywords, I started to have a better understanding of how my data fit in the 2D space. Topics on the left side of the y-axis were predominantly about white wines, with the common keywords being peach, citrus, acidity, pear, and lemon. Topics on the right-hand side were predominantly about red wines, with common keywords like aroma, cherry, black, oak, and note. Topics above the x-axis seem to describe the history and background of the wine, whereas topics below the x-axis seem to describe tangible qualities of the wine, such as flavor, scent, and texture. So back to my question, is there any truth to what these proclaimed critics are saying? Do these people actually know what they're talking about? Turns out the answer is yes, there are quite a few ways to describe wine. You can talk about the background and history of the wine, like Roger Voss, or you can comment on the tangible qualities of the wine, like taste, texture, and scent. There all, there's also a big difference in how people describe white and red wines, with each type of wine having their own distinct set of keywords. So the next time you see someone sniffing their glass of wine, you can go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt that they know what they're talking about. 
However, that didn't stop me from making a Markov chain text generator to make fun of how ridiculous people sounded when reviewing wines. Thank you for listening to my presentation.